this is lesson seven. As I said before, there are, there are, we're going to finish the building shell, I hope, in this lesson, building envelope, that is, including the roof. Um, I'm going to turn off the visibility of certain layers now to sort of demonstrate. And let's turn back on the AutoCAD underlay. Turn off the visibility of the trusses. I want to talk a little bit about these pipe enclosures. Under normal circumstances, I'm going to model a couple things that you're going to not need to model for the project, but let's imagine that somehow Let's imagine that there w was a pipe, okay? And the pipe, unlike the similar, similarly shaped uh, columns, uh, the pipe enclosure needs to go all the way through the roof and then some. Why is that? Well, a little bit beyond the scope of this discussion, but plumbing requires what's called venting, ventilation. Uh, sometimes you have systems in general uh, require that uh, um, mechanical uh, devices and, uh, and equipment that might live on the roof otherwise needs to be connected somehow with piping to systems inside um, the, the home or uh, commercial structure, whatever it is. Uh, hmm. So let's, let's imagine that one such pipe is there. I'm going to triple click that and make that a component. Height. Full height. You're not going to model this in the in IDC, but it, it's important to. I'm just illustrating the con concept. So maybe several of these might occur in the model. Let's make a copy of that just to do for purposes of uh, what we got here. We can take that and create a copy of it approximately in the same place. So these two pipes would need to be enclosed. Um, so I would need to draw a shape that enclose them. I'm going to turn off the visibility of the exterior walls, right? And use the pen tool to simply outline the shape of that vertical enclosure. So that we can more completely abstract and understand this. Let's turn off the visibility. Everybody understands how I drew that, right? If I put on x-ray uh, face mode, you can see that this thing encloses completely that pipe. And normally that would be a, 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 you know, a wall uh, shape that would enclose that. So if I were to take that outline, or that face,
and extrude it to a height of 22 feet. That would represent the enclosure from the ground to the to the roof. I'm going to turn off on the rest of these layers so you can see where we're, we're going with it. It's just for now, since I created some pipes, uh, plumbing. And just select these two uh, components and put them on that layer. So this thing that I've created, that I triple click now and make that a group. I'm going to add a layer for pipe called uh, pipe chase. And I'm going to select that thing that I just grouped and put it on that layer called pipe chase. Let's talk about what that is. Uh, Turn off X-ray mode. The pipe chase is, is adjacent to the to the walls, and it's the shape of the enclosure that begins at the at the at the ground floor level. Actually, I've modeled it right to grade um, because if I uh, turn on the visibility of the floor, you see that it's uh, one and the same with that floor. Um, we do need to model the roof, so let's go ahead and do that now. The, the roof is going to be the outline of the perimeter of the exterior wall, so I don't always do this, but in this case, it's easy enough to see exactly what that perimeter is going to be. So because that's readily available to me, I'm just going to draw around from endpoint to endpoint. Um, we decided the roof was 12 inches in height, so I'm going to extrude it to a height of 12 inches, and then triple click and group that, and create a layer called roof, and push that group, which is a solid to the roof layer. So what do we have? We have the roof element itself, two pipes that come that go from floor to ceiling, and we have an enclosure uh, for that. If you put on x-ray mode again, you can see exactly what that is. Let's make sure that the roof is at the correct elevation. If not, we may have to um, select it, uh, add an attribute. Well, let's go ahead and do that anyway. If you add an attribute that's like a Z position and that element has something other than zero, it simply reports what that, what that is. So that roof, that roof is at 252 inches, or otherwise, let's take a tape measure to it, end point to end point, 22 feet. Okay. 
and that is correct. So if I look at this model straight on from the front, the roof is at the correct height, the exterior walls are at their correct height. There's my, my chase goes all the way to the top of roof, and there are two um, pipes that exist in that uh, pipe chase, which we don't have to model in, uh, in, in our uh, advanced IDC model, but I do want to explain what's going on there so that it, it, uh, it's a, it becomes a little more than a ab complete abstraction here. So if I turn back on the trusses, Girders are on the floor, porches, the floor, interior floor. Everything in the model now sort of makes sense. And you can see the difference between that column element, you know, which in plan looks like it's the same shape. Um, as the uh, pipe enclosure, but it's it's actually it's serving a different purpose. It, it is it's the outline of the column that's holding up the girder, and it's different. It's different than that. So, if I wanted to model the rest, let's turn off visibility of all of those. There. So, if I wanted to model the rest of these chases, I could really just copy that element from here. Let's go ahead and do that. And we'll talk about different ways of doing it. I'm going to copy it from that endpoint, tap the control key, and let's see, snap it into place. There. I'm going to have to rotate it here. Are there any more? There are three of them. Let's snap it there and use the rotate tool. Tap the arrow key to and just turn it 90 degrees. Because I copy them, they're all in the same pipe chase layer. That's how the chases are different from columns. They're similar in profile in plan, but that's, those are the different purposes they serve. If I wanted to model the plumbing pipes, I could create instances of those there, but that would not be necessary. At this point, I think we can say that the building envelope is quite completely done. This was work I was doing on the, to illustrate these uh, components. So we'll save that as lesson seven and then we'll go on to model the openings and so